hardly a dramatic departure from past models, Acura has unveiled a new third generation of its premium people mover, the MDX, here today at the Detroit Auto Show. In keeping with recent reveals, this model is technically a prototype, meaning that it's very close to a production model that we'll see quite soon. To help improve aerodynamics, it's actually 1.5 inches shorter than the current model, and it's been stretched between the wheels as well, giving it better second row passenger room, plus easier access to the third row. It continues to use a rather pronounced Acura grille up front, plus it gets the brand's new signature jewel eye headlights, which we've seen on the RLX as well as the NSX concept car. And because it is a premium crossover, it has to have the cliche of all of them, some LED daytime running lights. Added tech will also be a part of the new MDX with features like forward collision warning, lane departure warning, lane keeping assist, and active cruise control. Acura says it will get best-in-class fuel economy, and helping do that is a new 3.5-liter V6 engine which gains direct injection. Chances are it will also get cylinder deactivation technology, something Honda has on a lot of its other V6 models. But two big questions remain to be answered. That's exactly what kind of transmission and drivetrain it will use. Now, there is an Acura 7-speed dual-clutch transmission coming down the pipes, but chances are this will still use a regular 6-speed automatic. The other big question is whether or not it will continue to use the brand's amazing super-handling all-wheel drive system. Now, they've already ditched that on the smaller RDX to help save weight, and chances are it's gone for the MDX, too. Acura hasn't confirmed as much, but they have said they will offer a two-wheel drive version, which, of course, will help them get that best-in-class fuel economy rating. As for when the production MDX will arrive, well, it could be as early as just a few weeks' time at the Chicago Auto Show, with sales starting this summer. 